Hey everyone, just want to start by saying thanks again for tuning in and checking out the GLC 300 Coupe. So first I'm going to start off and let you know what options this car actually comes equipped with. It does have the Premium 2 package. So part of that Premium 2 package is going to get us some really cool stuff. Looking right in the front, you're going to notice the LED headlamps with LED daytime running lights. I'm going to go ahead and get that turned on in a little bit so you can see what those headlamps look like. Really cool. The car is a diamond white, so if there were some sunshine out here, just so happens to not be the nicest day out here, then we would be able to see that paint shimmer in the sunlight. But check out the styling on this car. Really cool. Looks a lot like the GLE Coupe, actually. So that's the GLE Coupe. This is the GLC Coupe. Looks pretty similar, huh? One of the things that a lot of people ask is why would I get this car over the GLE Coupe? And I would say, why not? Just simply, uh, well, I know that seems like a simple answer, huh? But just simply, uh, a lot of the styling elements are going to be very similar. And you're going to get the fun to drive aspect. This car is also available in a GLC 43 Coupe. I just don't happen to have one here or else I might have made a video on that one. But if you get the GLC 43 Coupe, you're going to get similar performance as that GLE Coupe. So one of the things that I really like here about the outside is the ability to come up to the logo. You just pop it. Pops it right open. So you got a pretty good amount of space. You do, just like in the GLC, you have the ability to fold the seats down with a little button right here. So you have that little switch there and there. You're able to fold that down. I'll go ahead and I'll do it just to show you here. And it looks like the seatbelt got stuck there. There you go. Went and took it all down. Now you can remove this uh, cargo cover here if you wanted to to make more space. And you do have a little switch. Just press it right there. Brings it down. So this vehicle does have the four-cylinder inline turbo, 241 horsepower, 273 pounds of torque. Part of that premium two package as well, you do get the keyless go. So this will lock your car, and to unlock it, you would just put your hand in the handle there. You also have the blind spot assist, so you notice this little warning triangle here that actually lights up red when there's a vehicle on your blind spot. And uh, I've seen it happen in my car. It'll flash red when there's a car there and you put your blinker on. And then uh, you'll hear an audible alert. So you get that nice little chime when you uh, open your door. Really cool. Uh, part of that premium 2 package, you also get the illuminated door sills. And then if we look right under here, we can actually see there's uh, some ambient lighting there. Burmester premium sound system is also part of that premium 2 package or it's a, it's, a, it's a standalone option that's required when you get the premium 2 package so I, I most of the time say it's part of that package heated seats as well and then these are your actual seat controls really cool get you a good look at those so it's shaped like a seat makes it really easy to, to adjust it so you can extend it out here if you need to move the seat back you would just press the seat back. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the back to give you a really good view here of the space. So I put this seat all the way back so that I could have some room here to, to move. Just to give you an idea of that uh, the leg room. So I'm about, uh, what is it? five foot ten and uh, I got some good room here this is the inside of the vehicle as you can see it's got wonderful design you do have the waterfall effect here and one thing that I just I can't get enough of when you look at attention to detail 
is if you look at this this wood it's all cut from one piece of wood you'll notice all the grains match so you see that wood grain right there is gonna match that grain right here is gonna match with this one too all the way up so you get a beautiful design I mean when you look at the those speakers over there the cars really well put together part of that package on the premium 2 you get the touchpad with the central controller this is for your traction control auto start stop function you can put the car in a manual mode and then use the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel to upshift and downshift and then you have the dynamic select so you'll be able to go into a few different driving modes eco sport and all that good stuff I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video real quick and give us a view of the controls all right thank you okay so it turns out I didn't actually have that seat all the way back so the leg room is gonna be adjusted there in the back I went back probably about another inch and a half um, and I did that just so I can get a better view here of the interior so again touchpad with the central controller really cool really fun to use you do have the ability to zoom out zoom in you can swipe left swipe right you press down to select really cool I actually made a little video uh, showing off how to use this thing and how to use the central controller so we're gonna keep moving on you do have that premium 2 package so you have some nice little goodies here with your navigation you're also going to be able to use the Embrace application with Mercedes-Benz to send navigation information from your phone to the car that's available with that Premium 2 package. Part of the Embrace 2, you'll also be able to remote start your vehicle, lock and unlock it, and even locate it. I can't remember the exact range. I believe it's within three miles that you're able to find your vehicle if it's like in a parking lot or just somewhere parked where you don't remember. One of the things that I really like about the car is the adaptive brake technology and your electronic parking brake. So when you actually go into drive here, you see that little park right there. I go into drive and it releases the parking brake. When I put the car in park and shut it off, it actually engages that parking brake. Really cool. Makes it really, uh, really easy so you don't have to worry about actually uh, engaging that every time you get in the car. I love the steering wheel design. You do have the computer here in the center. You can go to navigation information. You can check radio, media, telephone options. You can almost control the whole car right from here. So I do like this a lot. Of course right over here we have our volume controls. We can mute. You can actually use the voice command here answer and phone calls. I love the vent design and part of that uh, more of attention to detail like I was talking about was this you know little attention to detail right when you put it in the center you hear a little click every time with every single one you know it just gives you a really nice feel you also get a really nice feel when it comes to the switches here awesome now this one does actually have the sunroof the panoramic sunroof is available if we look back here we can actually get a really good look at that uh, ambient lighting but here's a little idea there of the headroom in the back because a lot of people are concerned with that when they uh, hop in this car but Mercedes-Benz knew that you probably would so they actually made a little indent there for your head to give you more headroom. I'm gonna go ahead and go back out and All give you right, another so here's our look of those LED headlamps from the outside. As you can see, you have awesome looking daytime running lights. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the blinker on so that you could see how bright this thing gets. So here they are, beautiful design. Now, if you were to be looking at it like I'm looking at it, it gets super bright. It almost hurts your eyes how bright it is. And here we have the look with the 
LED headlamps on. Give us a little closer look there. I don't know why it's showing a flash like that with the camera. The LEDs look great. Overall, this car is uh, really fun to drive. It seems like that 241 horsepower is just right for this vehicle. When you jump up to that 362, you're just going to have even more fun if you get the GLC 43 coupe. But I think really what sets this car apart is the styling. Because you're not going to see a lot of vehicles out there that are going to look like this one. Aside from uh, this bad boy right here. So you're really going to get something that's going to stand out. It's going to be very unique. I feel like the people that are buying these um, are kind of rebels. They don't really care uh, what other people think. And they're, they're okay with getting something that they feel is really cool. So, wow, that, that's a beautiful, beautiful look right there of the car. Well, that does it for the little review here. I really appreciate you uh, watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see anything else, uh, go ahead and leave a comment and uh, let me know what you guys think, all right? Thank you so much. And uh, once again, it was Alan. Thank you so much.